Hi guys, um, this is the assignment number two. And I think, I hope that uh, most of them were pretty straightforward. But just this problem number six, I thought had some trickiness to it. So I wanted to give you a little hints or see um, if you had issues getting stuck on this one. So first of all, um, this is talking about passing your driver's test. And we had percentages that needed to be accurate to the um, the ones place. So because of that, I'm going to use two digit numbers. Okay, so each two digit number is going to represent a um, road test. All right, now here is where the tricky part comes in. So what happens is probability changes. The first time you take the test, you have one certain set of percentages. But then on all of the other tests, so if you don't pass the first one, then a new set of uh, probabilities applies. So the way I did this next part where it says let the, let the numbers be, I split it into two parts. So there I said on the first road test, and then I listed those percentages. And then on this one, on all subsequent, you know, the additional ones after road tests, then I'm going to list those percentages. Okay. So for this one, um, on the first road test, it says that we have that 34% pass rate. So then I'm going to let 0, 1 to 34 mean that you passed that first one on the first time. So then we have a whole lot that are not passing. And so I did 35 to 99 and 0, 0 are a fail. Okay? But then, after you look at that first two-digit numbers number, when you look at the next two-digit number, the rules are different. So on the second set of two-digit numbers, now we're following these rules here. Let the number 0, 1 to 72 equal a pass, and then 73 to 99 and 0, 0 equal a fail. Okay, so your, your trials, you're going to go until you pass the test, and then I think it wants to know the average number of tests you had to take to pass. But let's go down here and let me just give you an example of how these trials would look. So when I first start out, okay, then I have that first set of rules. So I'm going to go and take that test first, and I get 73 value and that's not passing 1 to 34 oh, 1 to 34 so that's that's a fail okay now I'm on the next set of rules so now I got a 90 well even for that next set of rules this set up here on this side that's still considered failing so I'm st I st so I failed the second test as well Okay, so I filled the second test. Now, I take that third test and I get a 39. Okay, so remember the rules for are these now. So it is one of those first 72, so I did pass it. If it was the first test, if it was the first test I'd ever taken, that would not have been a passing score or, you know, percent. So I'm done. So that took me three tests to pass. Okay, here we go again. 80 on the first shot out, no, only 30, 0, 1 to 34 pass, so that's a failure. Okay, new set of rules now because I'm about to take my second road test of the trial. And that means 0, 1 to 72 is passing, so ding, 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 that's a passing score now. Okay, so that one then took 
two times to pass, and so on. All right. So I think that was the only one that had a little bit trickier um, scenarios. It was a little more complex than the ones above. So that was just a little hint I wanted to give you for your simulation on your assignment two.